What it do, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You already know what it is. It's the boy Shingy as usual. Guys, today I'm gonna be doing something really, really cool. It's just snowing outside. Look at that. Check that out. Check that out. Check that over there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I've been really wanting to try this. It's really inspired by this documentary that I really like on Elsa Dorfman. Just looks so cool. I love her self-portraits. So I decided to just take some self-portraits of myself. So so that's what this video is gonna be: taking self-portraits of myself. And yeah. I'm gonna shoot black and white because I think it's going to really portray the time perfectly and it's just the look that I really really love black and white is like one of my favorite films to ever like shoot so um, I'm super excited about that but either way you know what it is so so I'm gonna need a couple of things guys that I need to go pick up in the car and I gotta grab a coffee and then I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna need in order to get this done I haven't done this before and this is so weird I'm not used to vlogging like this anymore I'm so used to like having Allison record or having my girlfriend record. I miss this. Like, I miss this whole interaction here. Like, this is so cool. What's up, guys? So, I am back in the house. I got my tripod that was in the car, and I also got a coffee, which is something I need. Guys, I want to make this video very Mm, what's the word interactive so I'm going to show you guys the whole entire process I was gonna get ready and just have the whole idea like be prepared and then show you guys everything that I need I'm gonna show you the whole process because I think there's something really beautiful about the whole entire process of taking a self-portrait from picking your outfit and to also like the whole entire process like right now I have to iron my pants and all that type of stuff I feel like it's very engaging and it shows you the process this is part of the process of taking a self-portrait you need to prepare so yeah, I'm just gonna like try to do a montage. I don't like, really maybe I'll just do like a speed ramp or something But boom tour coming. I know I did a little q and it not a little vote poll on Instagram and you guys want to see a room tour I'll show you guys. There's just a couple stuff. I want to get and then it's gonna be good. But either way Okay guys, so I'm pretty much ready. My outfit is ready for the self-portrait. It's just all black. Got some pants on. Got the got the roll-up toque. Okay guys, I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I'm gonna need to make this happen. I already have my clothes on, everything is perfect. So now it's time to look into the gear. So first thing I'm gonna need is a light meter. This is going to be my light and it's a flash meter. I do plan on using strobes. Second thing, cable release. You obviously need this. And guys, Elsa has this really, really cool photo where she's doing her self portrait and you can see the cable. That is the whole idea for the shoot. So it's very inspired by her. I'm gonna copy the same thing and then I'm just gonna change the scene because I really want a self portrait like this. It's gonna be really cool to sort of try to remake it and sort of make it my own. But obviously it's a very, very inspired by her. And my camera of choice is going to be the Pentax 645. I absolutely love this camera, guys. I'm gonna use it. This is gonna be my second time using her. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm going to, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. I'm really, I'm excited to have 16 shots. It has a wide angle lens, it's a 55, which is equivalent to 35 mil, which is gonna be perfect because my room is not the biggest room ever, so I don't have a lot of space. This is gonna make it all happen. Next thing is going to be my strobe. Here's my strobe strobe these are my Mets strobe when I used to own a studio it's a 400 watt strobe it's really good you can see that over there that's pretty much that I'm gonna keep it closed so it has a pretty good refresh rate 400 watt strobes are really really good and this should get the root the job done easily this is like sort of like overkill when I tell people that I have 400 watt next thing is a beauty dish I'm gonna need this this is my beauty dish um as you guys can see this side of my room is actually pretty dark and this is the lighter side of my room so the the light is hitting me this way that's why I'm recording this way but the light is really really dark over here so if I'm shooting that way sitting over here where my bed is um, I'm going to need to compensate for light and I'm gonna use this this is not a necessity this is not a necessity this is a luxury it's only because I already have them but you do not need them you could use anything you don't need them and obviously a soft cloth for the for the beauty dish and beauty dish tripod and also cable shutter release because these cameras are pretty old I don't think they have like actual sync I think the Pentax does actually have a sync yeah it does have a sync um hot shoes so I'm gonna actually use the 
sink on the hot shoe, which is pretty good. It's gonna make it a lot easier. I'm gonna try to read my light for my light meter. So this is what I'm gonna use to read the light with my light meter. This is called a flash sink cable, really cable sink. It's a cable sink pretty much. It just does the same thing. So it's gonna give me accurate reading while tripping the tripping the strobes as well. So this is perfect over here. Flash meter three, if you're wondering what light meter it is, flash meter three, it's like $50, really cheap. Obviously, I'm gonna need a tripod and I'm gonna need some film. I plan on shooting only, only one roll, which is going to be, I think it's T-Max. Is this T-Max? I forget what this is. I think I, I was told to shoot this with my pops over downtown camera. I think it's T-Max 400. I'm thinking it's T-Max. Yeah, I think it is T-Max. That's what I'm gonna be shooting. I'm just so pumped to do this. It's gonna be exciting. It might turn out really, really terrible, but who knows? I'm gonna develop the film myself, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be awesome. Okay guys, so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna read the light where I'm gonna be sitting and it's going to be right here. So I'm gonna be sitting right here with my feet on like this, like so. And right now I'm gonna read the light on this side. And right now it's saying F8 at 60th of a second with the strobe on and that's pretty much that. So here guys, we have the camera over here. What I'm actually gonna do is, I'm actually going to take the back out and load some film. Pretty excited. So I already kind of opened it. I forgot to hit the record button, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm so silly. Here I'm trying to put it in the spooly spool. Let's try to line it up with using the camera. And here we go. <laughs> Pretty good. Put that in there. Fire off the first shot. And we're at exposure one. The tripod pin is already ready as well. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Okay guys, so I have the cable release in there now. That's in there and it's long as hell going all the way down here. So guys, here is the camera setup. You guys can see over there. We have the cable release over here. The strobe is over there. Aim down on me. Super excited to do this. It's gonna be really, 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 really cool. So I'm excited to do it. Let's get to doing it. Okay, so it's time to shoot the self-portrait. Luckily, I have my TV over there, so I'm actually able to see a reflection of how everything kind of looks, which is pretty good. I just noticed it was in the way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, self-portrait test one, one, two. Let me make sure this is not in the frame. I feel like it might have gone into the frame. It did. It did. Sorry guys, I have to block you guys. It did, it got into the frame. Well, maybe I'll just... So we're gonna flip my chair upside down. Self-portrait test one. One, two, three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some of my photos and I'm gonna put them beside me. So the ones that are on the wall, I'm gonna put them beside me. Ah, the frame is broken! Ooh, good frame, really good frame. I really like that. And it has the, it has the, Elsa, tr the Elsa look of having the cord in front dangling, which is really good. So now let's do another one. 
Nice. Nice. Chingy the model. 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 I'm gonna take some cameras with me. These other film cameras. And then, so right here, we have the Konica, and you have me. I wonder if you can see the Konica. I don't know. This is a lot. This is a lot. Of, this is a lot. This is <laughs> this is a lot of shite. This thing is ginormous. It's ginormous. So you know what? Let's. Uh, Okay, you know what, let's just take, let's just take it. Awesome, so, okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually going to, now I'm gonna switch the tripod plate. Dope. Awesome. Those were some really, really good frames, guys. Those were some really good frames. Like, really, really good frames. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with myself. I'm actually doing pretty well. Given it's my first time trying this, it's going really, really well. But who knows until I develop it. Then we'll know if I'm being as good as I think I am. How many frames am I on so far? I'm on 11 frames. I'm gonna change the scene up a bit. I'm gonna shoot directly this way because I really love this section of my room as well. So I'm gonna do the rest of the frames like that. So BRB. Oh, this does not look secure at all. Okay, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That this is it's just not gonna work. So let's try something else. Let's try reach the ground and give me more space. So oh there we go. Oh perfect. I'm gonna try to be not on the bed as much as possible. Try to put focus in. Oh. <gasps> okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, so I managed to get it as far as possible and it turns out to be just enough. So Okay, so we have that. Okay, so frame number one. Oh, still gotta test out the light. Can't forget testing out the light. You gotta test out the light. That's very, very important. Okay guys, so it's all done. It is all done. The film has been rolled back. Look at this rig I have built over here. So I have the thing on the bed and I have the legs on the ground, which is insane. All right guys, so the, here's a camera. The roll is finished, which is really cool. I'm excited. I'm actually gonna be developing this at home, guys. Super excited. I seen the word exposed and I was like, all that work, like hours of work but I'm gonna develop it myself still 
I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna develop myself and I'm gonna try to do it properly and do it well. This roll is done. If you guys really, really, really love the video, I uh, you guys or have already seen the photos by now, pretty much. So that whole explanation was so stupid. But anyways, I hope you guys really love the video. This was inspired by Elsa. So like, go check her out. Her documentaries on Netflix. So you get to see she actually used a 20 by something Polaroid camera, which is insanely huge and insanely cool. So like, just watch her whole journey and see her self portraits and see all the content that she's created over time. And you get to really connect and you see why I did this because there's that connection between camera and photographer. And I feel like I got it because there's nothing in this whole entire shoot that I regret. So I'm super excited and I'm super grateful. But other than that guys, thank you guys again for watching. It's a boy Shingy. As usual, you already know what it is. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this or even more content about all the stuff that I'm learning and things that I'm reading about and watching about so hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed hit the post notifications button because i'm telling you i'm just posting and posting and posting and posting and you want to get the notifications a lot of you guys are not getting the notifications because you're so used to me dropping a video on wednesday so hit the post notification button thank you guys again for watching and for following on this journey follow me on instagram at shop by shingy check out my portfolio at shop by and also check out my brand waybetterco.com that's where I sell my presets and I sell some of my merch that says shoot film and everything I'll ever sell will be on there. And last but not least, follow and hashtag at WePhotoGods. We have 8,000 followers on Instagram, which is insane of straight film photographers and some digital photographers. It is insane. I'm super pumped and I'm working on the website and the magazine right now, which will be dropping probably January. So I'll let you guys know more about that. But other than that, I'm super pumped. Thank you guys again. It's the boy Shingy Deuces. I hope you have a great day. Uh.